the information below is about some vertebrates u v w and x the vertebrate then we have the characteristics u as dumb skin lays eggs called blended v feathers lays eggs warm blended w air live, live young one warm blended then we have x scales lays eggs and cord blooded which one of the following vertebrates could be a reptile when you look at vertebrates vertebrates can be divided into five groups whereby we have mammals mammals are warm blooded they give birth to life young ones they circle their young ones they have airy body then two we have birds they have feathers they lay eggs they are warm blooded then from there we have the reptiles reptiles have scales they are cord blooded they lay eggs then we have amphibians amphibians they have moist body they lay eggs that are fertilized ex externally they are called blended using that information now we can easily identify the reptiles the reptiles that have scales they are called blended and they lay eggs so we have eggs scales lays eggs called blooded therefore the correct answer there is eggs which one of the following statement about frogs and crocodile is wrong when we look at frogs frogs are amphibians amphibians when you look at them they usually lay eggs they have moist body they are cold blooded on the other side when you look at crocodiles crocodiles are reptiles reptiles on the other side they have scales they lay eggs they are cold blooded meaning that their body temperature changes with the temperature of the surrounding therefore when we look at the statement that are provided there with that information we can easily 
pick the wrong one, both lays eggs. It is true that both lays eggs, uh, frogs, which are amphibians, they lay eggs. Reptiles, crocodiles, which are reptiles, they lay eggs. Their body temperature changes with that of the surrounding. The statement is correct. Since all of them, they are cold blooded, cold blooded. Being cold blooded means that their body temperatures will ever change with the changing temperature of the area they are found in. Both have scales. It is not true that both have scales because for the amphibians they have moist body while for the reptiles they have scales. Therefore, statement C is wrong. For statement D, both spend some time in water. It is a true statement reason. For the frogs, which are amphibians, they partly live in water and partly live on land. For clock, crocodile, also sometimes it is in water, other times outside there basking in the sun. So the only wrong statement is C. Both have scales. A termite differs from a spider in that when you look at the termite and the spider, all are invertebrates. Invertebrates are those animals without the backbone. Termite is an example of an insect. While now the spider is an ex example of archids. When you look at the insects, insects they have three pairs of jointed legs. Also, their body is divided into three parts. They have compound eyes. Then on the other side, we have the another cheats. which include the spider, the tick. Then they have four pairs of jointed legs. Their body is divided into two parts, two body parts. Therefore, looking at the answers there, we can easily identify the difference between a termite and the spider. A termite has three body parts, while the spider has two body parts. That one is very much correct. Why? A termite being an insect, it has three pairs of jointed legs. Body is divided into three parts. For the spider, which is an arachid, it has two body parts. So the correct statement there is A. From the following list of animals, choose the one that consists of mammals only. When you look at mammals, they are part of vertebrates. Vertebrates are those animals with backbone. Mammals, they have the following characteristics. They circle their young ones.
two have airy body. They are warm blended. They either feed on vegetables, fresh or both. Therefore they can be carnivorous animals, omnivorous animals, or they can be herbivores. Also is that they give birth to live young ones. So apart from mammals, we have others like birds. And birds, they will include things like all ingo, weaver bird, sand bird. Then we have reptiles. Giving examples of reptiles, we can have crocodile. We can have lizard. We can have snake. ETC. Then we have amphibians. We have things like the toad, frog, salamander, newt. Therefore, using that information, that we can easily identify the list that consists of mammals only. So we have a bird is a fly mammal, squirrel is a mammal, tortoise is a reptile, porcupine is a mammal. We have B, we have whale is a sea mammal, rabbit is a mammal, bird is a mammal, kangaroo is a mammal. So that list consists of all of them are mammals. When it comes to sea, we have whale, which is a mammal, hedge oak is also a mammal. Then we have hole, hole is a bird, salamander is a amphibian. Then we have elephant is a mammal, python is a type of a snake and snakes are reptiles, lion is a mammal and elephant is a mammal. So the list that consists of all mammals is B, that is whale, rabbit, bird, and kangaroo. Soon could we classify some of the animals he had seen during a visit to a national park into two groups using a certain characteristics. We have group one, a lizard, frog, crocodile. Group two, it had mouse, ostrich, and leopard. Which one of the following shows the characteristics that Sun Sunkuri used? Using the list of animals in group one, whereby we have lizard, frog, and crocodile, all of them they have one thing in common. They are called blended. That is group one. The animals are examples of cord blended animals. Meaning that their body temperatures change with the temperature of the surrounding. Also, looking at all of them, they lay eggs. Lizard lays eggs, frog lays eggs, crocodile lays eggs. All of them also they breathe by means of lungs. Lizard breathe by means of lungs. Frogs when outside the water they breathe through lungs the same with crocodile. Going back to our group two Group 2 has mouse, ostrich, leopard. It consists of 
Some are birds, others are mammals. One common characteristic between mammals and birds is that they have constant body temperature. Meaning that they, their temperature remains the same despite the changes in the temperature in their surrounding. So comparing what Son Kudl had seen and used to classify, he classified them as cold blooded and warm blooded. That is, cold blooded they change their body temperature with the surrounding and warm blooded that their body temperature remains constant despite the changes in the temperature of the surrounding. So, group uh, A carnivore herbivore, which is wrong, lays eggs, bears their young one, ostrich does not give birth, body temperature varies, body temperature constant. So, the answer there was C, that is the body temperature varies, that is they are cold, blended, and body temperature constant, meaning that they are warm, blended. That is the characteristic that it Sankuli used to classify the animal. The chart below shows a simple classification of vertebrates. Vertebrates ca uh, can be divided to those with constant body temperature. Also, they can be divided to others with varying body temperature. We have mammals and W, which is the other category of constant body temperature. Varying body temperature can further be divided to X, Y, and Z. Which one of the following groups of water bridge does W represent? So when you look at water bridge, water bridge are those animals with backbones. The backbone runs from the head to tail. These vertebrates can be grouped into five groups. The groups consist of mammals to birds. It is good to note that the two usually have constant body temperature. In other words, they are warm, blended. Then we have three, we have reptiles, four, we have amphibians, and five, we have fish. All of them, they have varying body temperature or they are called blended. So using that information, we can identify the vertebrate that is represented by W, which has constant body temperature, and the vertebrates that have constant body temperatures are true, mammals and birds. So W here represents birds. So looking at our answer there, the correct answer there is D, birds they have constant body temperature. A pupil classified some animals as shown in the chart below. Animal without backbone and with backbone. Animals without backbone we have insects, examples, housefly and spider. With backbone we have reptiles, Examples, chameleon and lizard. Which of the following animals was not classified correctly? Looking at the classification there, first 
the animals were classified according to whether they are born backbone or not that is vertebrates and invertebrates for those without backbone we have insects and then examples of insects we have housefly and spider looking at the examples there invertebrates they can be divided into insects that include housefly mosquito moth grasshopper and many others also invertebrate can also be classified into anarachids anarachids examples we have ticks spider flea and also scorpion on the other side we have animals with backbone and example of such a vertebrate we have reptiles so we have reptiles examples we can have things like lizard we have chameleon we have things like the snake we have crocodile etc therefore looking at the classification the animal that was wrongly classified was the spider the spider is not an insect but a narachid therefore the correct answer there is the spider some pupils use the chart shown below to group small animals they had collected small animal three body part examples we have osprey and mosquito small animal two body parts spider and q which one of the following is represented by q looking at the small animals there they are invertebrates and invertebrates can be divided into several groups of small animals including insects insects they shall have three body parts they have three pairs of jointed legs they also have compound eyes examples we can have housefly mosquito we have moth grasshopper also the termites it is seen on the other side the animals with two body parts they are also invertebrates they do not have a backbone they are called anarachids these animals they have two body parts they have four pairs of jointed legs examples we can have tick spider scorpion etc therefore q can either be a tick spider 
or scorpion. Therefore, looking at our answers, we have a weevil, B flea, C tick, and D bed bug. So, the correct answer there is tick, which is an example of a anarchid. Which one of the following animals lays eggs? breathes by means of lungs and has constant body temperature. When we look at animals, they can be divided into two. We have vertebrates and invertebrates. Invertebrates have no backbone. while vertebrates have backbone. Vertebrates are divided further to five groups. We can classify them according to their kind of blood that they have. Some are warm blooded, meaning that their body temperature does not change. They include mammals. Two, we have birds. Then we have cold blooded. They include reptiles, amphibians. and fish. Since we are told that the animal lays eggs, it has constant body temperature. Only the warm blooded animals that have constant body temperature. So our concern is all about mammals and birds. Then from there we have they breathe by means of lungs. It is true that both mammals and birds breathe by means of lungs. When it comes to laying eggs, we have some of the mammals that lay eggs, like ducks, bills, platypus, and spinny ant eater. But all birds, they lay eggs. So, we are going to do away with reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Examples of reptiles here, we have crocodile. Crocodile is a reptile, so crocodile do away with it. Then we have frog. Frog is an amphibian. They are cold blooded. So we are left with duck and whale. When you talk of the whale, it is not among those mammals that we have said now they lay eggs. We have said now the only mammals that lay eggs are dark billed platypus and spinny ant eater. Whale is a sea mammal. Sea mammal. It does not lay egg. Therefore, the correct answer will be birds. And the birds here are represented by the duck. The duck lays eggs, breathes by means of lungs, and has constant body temperature. Which one of the following animals is correctly matched with the number of legs it has? We have the animal and the number of legs. We have tick. 8, spider, 6, crab, 6, prey mandis, 8. So when we look at the animals that have been given as our, as our choices, we have the tick, spider, crab, prey mandis. So all these we can classify them as invertebrates or animals without backbone. So first we have the insects. The insects here, they have six legs. 
Also, we have examples of the insects here. We can have things like mosquito. We have the housefly. Then we have another cheats. This one they have eight legs. Examples here we have tick, spider, scorpion. Also, in the case of insect, we have the prey mandis. Crab is a crustacean, it's another group of invertebrates. Therefore, the one that is correctly matched, it is the tick. Tick has eight legs. Tick has eight legs. From the following groups of animals, choose the one that consists of reptiles only. When you look at the reptiles, they have scales, they breathe by means of lungs. They lay eggs. They are called blended. Examples of these leptas will include snake, lizard, crocodile. ETC. Therefore, using that example, few examples, we can easily identify the list that consists of leptas only. We have a python is an example of a snake. Frog is amphibian. So examples of the amphibians here we have frog. Also, we have told, we have newt, then we have earthworms, earthworms are worms under invertebrates, roundworms also are worms. So the group that consists of only reptiles is the group of chameleon, crocodile, and tortoise. Which one of the following groups of small animals consists of members with similar characteristics? The small animals, they are part of invertebrates. The invertebrates can be divided into a insects. The insects will include things like termites, beetles, housefly, moth, grasshopper, And many other insects. On the other side, we have an arachid, which can be included or which includes chicks, scorpion, and spider. 
So using that one, we can easily identify the one that has only word group. Therefore, we have A, we have Bs, dead birds, B2, housefly. So that one consists of all insects. And it's our correct answer. When you look at B, B we have ticks. Ticks are not insects, but they are narratives. All the others are, are, are insects. See, we have butterfly spider. Spider is also a narrative. All the others are insects. And scorpion ear is a, a narrative. So the correct answer is B, dead bird, B2, and housefly. Which one of the following is not a vertebrate? Vertebrate, they are animals that have backbones. These animals can be, or vertebrates, can be divided into five groups, whereby we have mammals. Mammals can be, uh, examples of mammals, we have man, we have things like cow, we have pigs, we have lion, we have the second group, that is the group of birds, birds like ingo, hen, hole, kites, ostrich, fl flamingo, then we have reptiles like chameleon, snake, lizard. Then we have amphibians. Examples of amphibians we have toad, frog, newt. Then we have fish. For fish, we have tilapia, trout, nalpage, etc. So all those are examples of mambons, and we have others. All of them, they are vertebrates. And vertebrates, as we have said now, they are animals with backbone. So looking at our question, the correct answer there is snail. Snail is invertebrate. Invertebrates are those animals without the backbone. There it is in a group of invertebrates called mollusks. Which one of the following animals is correctly matched with its breathing organ? We have animal breathing organ. We have well, lungs, tilapia, nostril, bird, spiracle, locus, skin. It is good to note that all these animals, they breathe through different body organs. When you took look at well, well is a sea mammal. It breathes through lungs. Then we have tilapia. Tilapia is a fish. Fish, they breathe through gills. Then we have bat. Bat is also a flying mammal. It breathes through lungs. 
then we have locust locust is a insect insects they breathe through spiracles so the correct animal that has been correctly matched with the body organ it uses for breathing it is well well being a sea mammal it breathes through lungs and it is correctly matched the chart below shows classification of small animals according to the number of legs yeah small animal three pairs of legs four pairs of legs more than four pairs of legs examples here we have housefly p spider q octopus and r which animals are represented by p q and r when you look at these small animals they are invertebrates invertebrates are animals without backbone they can be divided into several groups one we have insects the insects have three pairs of jointed legs they include things like housefly grasshopper mosquito bee grasshopper and many others then we have anarachids this one they have four pairs of jointed legs they include animals like ticks scorpion spider etc then we have others with more than four legs like millipend we have centipend octopus oyster all those are other animals that have more than four jointed legs therefore using that information we can easily identify the animals that are represented by p q and r p is an insect so when you look at our choices a b c and d all p all, all of them they are insects when you go to q q is supposed to be an arachid because they are the one that has four pairs of jointed legs we have ticks scorpion and spider looking at our answer here we have tick all the others are insects then the last group is the group of animals more than four pairs of legs we have millipend centipend octopus oyster therefore we have centipend there the correct answer there is a whereby we have b tick and centipede the classification chart below was used by some pupils to classify animals they had observed animal with backbone live in water we have all of their life part of their life then we have 
live on land, have scales, lays eggs. Into which one of the groups would they classify a frog? When you look at frog, frog is an amphibian. Frog Todd Newt are some of the examples of amphibians. When you look at these amphibians, they are vertebrates and they live partly in water and partly on land. Also, they lay eggs and they are cold blooded. Therefore, using that information, we'll find now the frogs they live in water but part of their life. On the other side we cannot say they have scales because these they have moist body. They usually have moist body instead of scales. So when you look at all those points then we can say that frogs they live in water part of their life not the whole of their life why they partly live in water and partly on land meaning that they don't live the whole of their life in water they just live part of their life in water therefore the correct place where we can classify frog it is being as animals that live part of their life in water. Which one of the following animals is not correctly matched with its characteristics? We have a animal frog characteristics. When you look at frog, frog they are amphibians. For the amphibians, they have moist body, they lay unfertilized eggs, they are called blunted, meaning that their body temperature changes or varies with the temperature of the surrounding. We have beam, whereby we have ostrich. Ostrich is a bird, which is a flightless bird. They have feathers. They have beaks instead of teeth. They lay fertilized eggs. They are warm blooded, meaning that their body temperature remains the same despite the changes in the temperature of the surrounding. Then we have bird. Bird is a flying mammal. Their body is covered with hair. That is, they have hairy body. They are warm blended. That is, their body temperature remains the same. They give birth to life young ones. Then we have snake. Snake ear is a reptile 
Crafters are called blended, meaning that their body temperature varies with that of the surrounding. They have scales, and three, they lay eggs. So using that information, we can easily identify the one that is not correct to match. And you'll find out the one that is not correct to match, it is the snake. Reason being that a snake as is called blended, meaning that it has a varying body temperature. So it does not have constant body temperature as they are saying there. So the correct the one that is not correctly matched it is this neck. Which one of the following statement is true about all insects? They when you look at insects, insects are in vertebrates these are animals without backbone therefore when you look at insects as some of the characteristics for example one they have three pairs of jointed legs Two, their body parts is divided into three parts. Have three body parts. The other one is that they have compound eyes. They have compound eyes. The other one is that they breathe through spiracles. Therefore, when you look at the answers given there, A undergo complete metamorphosis. Some of these, they do not go complete metamorphosis, which whereby they have less than four stages. They have three stages. So some go complete metamorphosis, others do not. When you talk of uh, have proboscis, not all of them that they are proboscis because proboscis is meant to suck nectar in some of the insects. They have wings, some of them do not have wings. A good example are the termites. Termites are insects and they do not have wings. So the correct answer there is that all insects they breathe through spiracles. Which one of the following is true about fish, reptiles, and amphibians? They have, when you look at fish, reptiles, amphibians all of them they are vertebrates they have backbones so they are cold blooded meaning that their body temperature changes with that of the surrounding again all of them they will lay eggs they will lay eggs therefore when you look at these those are the three 
common characteristic that these animals share. They are vertebrates since they have backbone. They are cold branded meaning that they have varying body temperature and they lay eggs. Although some lay fertilized egg, others do not lay fertilized eggs. So using that information you'll find now our correct answer there is they have varying body temperature. That is they are cold blooded. Which one of the following animals is not a mammal? Mammals is one of the group of vertebrates. So we have vertebrates as animals with backbone. These vertebrates can be divided into one mammals mammals they will include things like birds well man hippopotamus lion zebra all those are mammals then we have other groups of birds like chicken, weaver birds, ostrich. Then we have fish. Examples of fish we have shark, tilapia drought then we have reptiles reptiles we have snake we have lizard chameleon therefore from that list now we can pick the one that is not a mammal so we have said now bird well, hippopotamus, all of them, they are mammal. They suckle their young ones. They have early body. And they give birth to live young ones. But when it comes to shark, shark is a fish. Therefore, our correct answer there is shark since is a type of fish and not a mammal. A certain animals lays eggs as scales and the body temperature varies with the surrounding. The animal is likely to be when you look at those animals or those vertebrates that have varying body temperature they are either fish which will include things like tilapia shark nile punch trout or it can be reptiles and the reptiles include things like lizard, chameleon, crocodile, snake, or it can be amphibians. Amphibians, they will include animals like Newt, Todd, Frog, and then Salamander. Using that example now, 
we can easily identify the one that lays eggs as scales and the body temperature varies so we have seen now it's only fish reptiles and amphibians that have varying body temperatures and these are their members then out of these we have the reptiles the reptiles they are the ones that have scales they lay fertilized eggs lays eggs that are fertilized and then they are called blended when you look at amphibians they have moist body they do not have scales therefore when you look at duck duck is a bird and it has warm or they are warm blended also we have platypus dark built platypus these are mammal and we call them egg lay mammals so we have the snake which is a reptile as our answer since it has scales lays eggs and they are called blended meaning that their body temperature changes or varies with that of the surrounding the table below shows characteristics of some invertebrates we have the name number of body parts number of legs we have vivos three body parts x is the number of legs y the name number of body parts two number of legs eight wasps z and the number of legs six y x and z represents when you look at these invertebrates they are animals without back they can be divided into a insects insects will include things like housefly mosquito things like wasp termites weevils When you look closely at them they are they have three body parts and they have three pairs of jointed legs meaning that they have six legs On the other side also invertebrates can be divided to anarachids anarachids they will include small animals like ticks scorpion and spider when you look at them they are they have eight legs that is four pairs of jointed legs also they have two body parts using that information now we can easily identify x whereby x weevil three body parts meaning that it's a an insect the number of legs three pairs of jointed legs or six so x is six then we have y y name two the number of body parts so meaning that one is a anarachid so it can either be ticks scorpion or spider 
Then we have Z. Was body parts are Z but legs six. So six legs, those are for insects. So it can either be it can be two, three body parts, three body parts. So spider and then three. Looking at our answers, the correct answer is six tick, spider, or scorpion. But here we are given tick and then three. Therefore, the correct answer is <coughs> C. Which pair of characteristics is common in lizard, toad, oak, and platypus? When you look at all these, we have lizard. Lizard is a reptile. Then we have Todd. Todd is amphibian. Then we have Oak. Oak is bird. Then we have Platypus. Is a egg-laying mammal. When we look closely at all these animals, one, they are vertebrates. Since vertebrates can be divided into five groups, mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles, and fish. Two, when you look at them, all of them, they lay eggs. Lay eggs that is lizard will lay eggs toad will lay unfertilized egg oak being a bird it will lay eggs and platypus is a mammal but an egg laying mammal another thing when you look at them is that all of them they breathe by means of lungs. It is good to note that we have Todd, which is a amphibian. Todd being amphibian, we will live partly in water. and partly on land when it is on land it will use its lungs to breathe so it uses its lungs to breathe when on land so the common characteristics that are there are one, they lay eggs and they breathe through means of lungs. That is A. One thing that we should rule out is that they do not have varying body temperature or constant body temperature. Why? Leptals, amphibians, and fish, they are varying. But birds and mammals, they have constant. So with the issue of varying body temperature and constant body temperature, that rules the answers out. Then we have half scales. It is only the lizard, the oak, that have scales. Platypus is covered with early body and told they have moist body. So the issue of scales is out. So therefore the correct answer is they lay eggs and breathe by means of lungs. Which one of the following 
animals has the same number of legs as the tick. When you look at the tick, tick is a invertebrate. An invertebrate. Invertebrate can be divided into insects, anarachids, molluscas, etc. Tick is an example of a anarachid. So we have anarachids, we have ticks, we can have scorpion, we can have the spider. When you look at all these anarachids, they have two body parts and that they have four pairs of jointed legs or eight legs in total. Therefore, the only animal that has the same number of legs as the tick is the scorpion. The scorpion has eight legs because it's a anarchy. It has four pairs of jointed legs that is eight in total which one of the following is true for both chicken and frogs both when you look at chicken chickens are birds birds have constant body temperature Their body is covered with feathers. They lay eggs. They breathe by means of lungs. On the other side, we have the frogs. Frogs are amphibians. The amphibians, they have moist body, they lay unfertilized eggs, breathe by means of through lungs when on land and gills while in water. For frogs or amphibians, they live partly on land and partly in water. So while in water they breathe through gills, while on land they breathe through lungs. Therefore using that explanation then we can get the true statement about chicken and frogs. When you look at both of them, we cannot say they have constant body temperature. Why? Frogs are cold blended while chicken are warm blended so they do not have the same type of temperature frogs do not have scales instead they have moist body chicken they have own scales on their feet the correct answer therefore is that they breathe through lungs for the frogs, we have said that they breathe through lungs when they are on land, since they live partly on land and partly in water. Standard 5 pupils observed and grouped some small animals. Which one of the following animals were correctly grouped? 
When you look at these small animals, they are invertebrates. These invertebrates, they can be grouped into insects. Insects like housefly, mosquito, wasp, beetles, termites, or you can call them ants. We have moth, grasshopper, and many others. On the other side, we can have anarchids. The anarchids include tick, spider, Scorpion, etc. Therefore, using that information there, you can answer or pick the correct group or the animal that were grouped correctly. So we take our A. We have ant. It's an insect. Tick and spider are anarchists. Tick and spider. So that one is wrong. We have beetle. Then we have month. Then ant. All of them they are insects. Spider is anarchist. Weevil and beetle are insects. Then we have tick. Tick is an arachid. Moth and weevil are insects. So the group that was correctly grouped was B, the group with beetle, moth, and ant. All of them, they are insects. Which one of the following statement about vertebrates is true? When you look at the vertebrates, vertebrates can be divided into one fish. You look at fish, they have scales. They are called blooded. They lay unfertilized eggs. Also, we have amphibians. Amphibians, they lay unfertilized eggs in water. They have moist body. They are called blooded. Then we have reptiles. They are called blooded, meaning their body temperature varies. Lay fertilized eggs. On land, they have scales. Then we have birds. Birds lay fertilized eggs. They are warm blended. They have feathers. 
they breathe by means of lungs so using that information we can easily identify this true statement according to the question fish and amphibians have scales fish have scales but amphibians they have moist body so the statement is wrong amphibians and reptiles lay eggs on land amphibians like frogs thought they lay eggs in water which are unfertilized but for the reptiles they lay eggs on land fish and birds have constant body temperature birds have a warm blooded mean that they have constant body temperature what about fish fish are cold blooded means that they their body temperature varies with the surrounding then last we have reptiles and birds lay fertilized eggs reptiles they lay fertilized eggs on land the same thing applies to birds they lay fertilized eggs therefore the correct statement or true statement is d that reptiles and birds they lay fertilized eggs which one of the following animals belongs to the same group as weevil? When you look at the weevil, weevils are insects. They are insects because they have three body parts. They have six legs. They have compound eyes. They breathe through spiracles. Therefore, we have other insects like housefly. We have termites. We have wasps. We have beetles, things like bee, all those are insects. So the animal that belongs to the same group as weevils are the termites. Termites are insects. The following are some of the characteristics of certain animals. Body covered with scales, lays eggs, body temperature varies with the surrounding, breathe by means of lungs. Which one of the following pairs of animals has all the characteristics listed? Looking at the characteristics listed there, they are characteristics of reptiles. They are the ones that have scales. They lay eggs. They have varying body temperature and breathe by means of lungs. Examples of reptiles here are one, we have lizard. We have crocodile, we have snake, we have tortoise, therefore looking at the answers, the animal that has all those characteristics are lizard, and tortoise. Looking at shark is a fish. Fish breathe by means of gills. Looking at frog here is amphibian. Amphibian they have moist body. Looking at platypus here is a egg laying mammal. 
it has constant body temperature therefore the one that has all those characteristics are lizard and tortoise which one of the following consists of only of a pair of animals that have constant body temperature animals that have constant body temperatures are mammals and birds examples of mammals here we have man pig lion bird well zebra buffalo then we have birds like ingo oak chicken ostrich we have flamingo those are few examples of birds therefore looking at our answers there we can easily identify the pair that has mammals only starting with the a we have shark and whale whale is a mammal but shark is a fish Tortoise and ostrich. Ostrich is a bird, but tortoise is a reptile. Therefore, we have bird and ostrich, which will be a pair that has constant body temperature. That is ostrich and bird. Which of the following groups of animals consist only of invertebrates? When you talk of the invertebrates, they consist of animals like insects, insects like moth, bee, mosquito. We have Ausply Grasshopper Termites The other side we have Anarachids Here we have Ticks Spider Scorpion We have others like mollusks, mollusk, like the snail. Therefore, using that information, we can easily eliminate the ones that are vertebrates. For example, we have crab, newt and snail newt here is a amphibian it has a backbone Ni uh, also here we have frog frog is amphibian therefore the are uh, the group that consists of only invertebrates is the group that has sandipend snail and the spider that is B which of the following statement is true fish have constant body temperature the statement is not true not true because it's a fish that are called 
blended. Its body temperature changes with that of the surrounding. B, birds have varying body temperature. Also, the statement not true. Birds, they have constant body temperature. They are warm, blended. Then we have the young ones of amphibians live on land. Also, the statement is not true. The young ones of amphibians is called tadpole. Tadpoles, they live in water. Then we have reptiles breathe through lungs. This is a true statement. So reptiles like snake, <coughs> lizard, all of them they breathe through lungs. Therefore the correct answer there is D. It is a true statement that Reptiles breathe through lungs. Which of the following pairs consist only of animals with scales? Animals with scales include reptiles, reptiles like snake, lizard, chameleon, crocodile, also we have fish, fish like shark, tilapia, trout, then we have birds like chicken, ostrich, flamingo, but they usually have scales on their feet. The others, their bodies are covered with scales. So the animals that have scales here are turtle and the duck. Turtle and the duck. Turtle because turtle is an example of reptile and the tortoise and the duck because it's an example of a bird. So, but they have scales on their feet. Duck is a good example. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Which one of the animals has scales on its body? The animals that have scales can either be reptiles, reptiles like chameleon, tortoise, Tato, snake, lizard, others can either be birds like chicken, duck, ostrich, also we have fish like tilapia, trout, shark. Therefore, looking at all those examples, the one that has scales, it is chameleon. Well, is a mammal. Mammals do not have scales. They have early body.
restored and nude, they are amphibians, they have moist body. Which one of the following is a characteristic of amphibians? Amphibians are cold blooded, they have moist body, lays eggs, they live partly on land and partly in water. Looking at the characteristic given, lay their eggs on land. They lay their eggs, but they lay their eggs in water. We have live partly in water, that is partly on land and partly in water. They have moist skin with scales, they do not have scales, they have moist body. And that breathe through gills. The tadpoles are the ones that they breathe through gills while in water. So the correct statement or characteristic of amphibians is that they live partly in water. The following are some characteristics of animals. Varying body temperature, lays eggs, upscales, have backbone. Which two characteristics are both for toad and duck? When you look at toad, toad is amphibian. Amphibians, they will lay eggs in water. They have varying body temperature. They have backbone. Then the duck is a bird. Birds have feathers. They have constant body temperature. They lay eggs. and a backbone. So the two characteristics that are both for Todd and Doug that they lay eggs and they have backbone. That is two and four. Two and four. Therefore, the correct statement there is C. The following are characteristics of a certain animal. Lays eggs, has constant body temperature, has airy body. The animal like, uh, is likely to be when you look at those characteristics, they are characteristics of a egg-laying mammal. There are two egg-laying mammals. These are spinny and eater and dark build platypus. Those are the two non-egg-laying mammals. Therefore, mammals, they have constant body temperature. The two, that is spinny and eater, they lay eggs together with dark built platypus. And since they are mammals, they have hairy body. Therefore, the correct answer there is 
spini and eta pupils observed and classified certain animals into two groups e and f as shown below we have group e bat ingu leopard group f chameleon frog and snake the pupil classified the animals on basis of when you look at animals uh, or vertebrates can be grouped as warm blended those are animals with constant body temperature under the other group is the group of cold blended that is varying body temperature they have varying body temperature for warm blooded we have mammals and birds here we have reptiles amphibian and fish all of them they have varying body temperature so the example here gave us examples of mammals for example mammals here we have bat and leopard while birds we have ingo on the other side we have amphibians they had given us the frog fish we are not given but chameleon and snake are reptiles therefore the examiner used body temperature to classify the animals into two groups group e with constant body temperature and group f with varying body temperature therefore our correct answer there is a constant and varying body temperature which one of the following characteristics is found in both tilapia and ducks tilapia is a fish fish they lay eggs have scales and they are cold blooded meaning that their body temperature changes with the surrounding on the other side we have duck duck is a bird birds they lay eggs they are warm blooded they have scales on their feet therefore when we look at what they are in common is that they have scales that is Ducks, they have scales on their feet, while now fish, they are covered with scales in their body. We cannot say fish, they are not filter feeders. Birds, a duck is the one that is a filter feeder when it comes to classification or adaptation of birds. External fertilization, but a duck has internal fertilization while fish as external fertilization breathing underwater ducks do not breathe underwater because they breathe through lungs while fish they breathe through gills so they can breathe through or under water therefore what they share in common is that they have scales 
which one of the following characteristics is found in reptiles but not in birds when you look at reptiles upscales lays eggs they are called blended meaning that their body temperature varies with that of the surrounding on the other side we have birds birds they have scales on their feet they lay eggs and they have constant body temperature Therefore, when you look at the characteristics, both reptiles and birds, they are vertebrates, they have backbone, both have scales, they breathe through lungs, all of them, but when it comes to varying body temperature, birds have constant body temperature, while Reptiles they are called branded, meaning that they have varying body temperature. Therefore, the correct answer there is D. Varying body temperature is not found in birds, but it's found in reptiles.